The battle between hedge funds and GameStop believers is back. Get out the popcorn, grab a six pack because David and Goliath go head to head for one more round. Welcome to the Money Runner. I'm David Nelson. On Monday evening, more than two hours after the close of trading, Bloomberg reported that none other than Carl Icahn had established a sizable short position in GameStop. Carl, of course, is the legendary hedge fund manager who is said to have a net worth somewhere between 18 and 24 billion. His career includes headline grabbing takeovers and trades like Texaco, Marvel Comics, Pan Am, RJR Nabisco, and a list really too long for this pod. So why would Carl take on the legion of GameStop enthusiasts who have made sport of squeezing shorts, putting some out of business? I think the charts tell the story. The GameStop phenomenon started around mid-2020. That's when the volume starts to pick up and the rise in shares starts to get noticed. By January 2021, the trading was insane. It took GameStop believers less than a month to push shares from 481 to close to 87 on January 27, 2021. Before it became sport, trading volume averaged at best maybe 20 million shares a day. But by the peak of the frenzy, volume was hitting close to 800 million shares in a single session. And the month that followed, it fell all the way back to 1150. That, my friends, is volatility. Of course, the saga didn't end there. Over the next year, there were two spikes over 60 and one in June last year that hit 75. Over the last year, as you can see in this chart, the stock has seen lower highs ending just above 25 on the eve of the icon of the icon news. It's no mystery why hedge funds would be so hell-bent on shorting the shares. I'm going to get into that in a second. As a reminder, a short position is initiated by borrowing the shares of the target company, selling them in the open market with the hopes of buying it back later at a lower price, at which point you return the borrowed shares and you lock in the profit. Unlike a, a long position or owning the shares, the potential losses from a short position are unlimited. As a former hedge fund manager, I can tell you there is no pain in finance like a short position that goes against you. If I buy a stock, the most I can lose is my investment. When I short, I have no idea how bad it could get. I'm sure hedge fund managers that went short at $10 in 2020 were suicidal by the time it hit 50, much less 80. What fueled the mania, at least initially, was a band of amateur traders on platforms like Reddit and others buying the stock in unison all looking to create that short squeeze. They succeeded beyond even the most optimistic expectations. Reddit founder Jamie Rogozinski says he saw the chaos coming, calling it the democratization of financial markets, giving a voice to the people that previously didn't have one. The GameStop short squeezes haven't really been in the news of late, and maybe that's in partial response to a bear market we've lived through all year. Investors have had much bigger things to worry about, including inflation, the economy, Ukraine, and a Federal Reserve looking to inflict as much pain as they can with higher interest rates without actually killing the patient. So why does Carl want to take on the challenge of going up against a band of amateurs that have actually had some pretty good success wiping out other hedge funds? I haven't talked to Carl, but I'm willing to bet dollars to donuts he sees the same thing I do. I suppose there are companies with worse financials than GameStop, but not many. Look for yourself. Revenue has been falling for the last decade, but seems to have stabilized somewhere between six and seven billion. Gross profits continue to fall, and EBITDA went negative this year, and there is no bottom line. This company makes nothing. Add the fact that this year, free cash flow was negative 953 million. The only thing going on with this company is a story and a legion of believers that may or may not still be buying into this fairy tale. On the surface, Carl should have a pretty good winning trade here. However, I'm sure hedge funds that had their heads handed, handed to them in 2021 saw the same thing Carl sees. Timing is everything, especially when it comes to short selling. We'll see if Carl can pull this one off. We'll also see if the Reddit crowd can put the band back together and take on another hedge fund manager, sending him back to the locker room. Let the games begin. If you like the pod, please hit subscribe. And if you want to get in touch with me and send a direct message, send an email to david at moneyrunnerpodcast.com. 
I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for joining me. I'm David Nelson.